Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Evidence and in today's video I'm going to show you how to do left join and right join with Pentas and Python. So left join, right join with Pandas and Python. Okay. So I went ahead and created some data sets for this and let's go ahead and execute. And let's see what the um, data sets look like. So I'm going to be using the LS data set. And I'm also going to be using the OT data set. And this is um, what they look like. And um, the way left join works is that it will keep everything on the left side and find whatever matches on the right side and return it and replace everything with NAN. Or right join it to return everything on the right side and find matching items on the left. Anyway, let's go ahead and run the code so you see what it looks like in action. So let's got this left join left, let's just call it left equal to pd dot merge. And PD stands for pandas. So earlier I imported So if I'm doing PD, I'm, um, PD stands for pandas. Just wanted to clarify that. And um, hashtag is for comments, just in case you didn't know. All right, let's do PD.merge and let's do LS on the left side, OT on the right side, and let's do how equal to left and on equal to driver. So driver just means what um, column should we use to do the merge you know and in this case um ot has a column named driver and ls also has a column named driver so i'm going to combine ls and ot using the driver column and let's go ahead and execute this and let's type in left and see what the result looks like. So as you can see, um, with left join, it returned everything on the left side of the data set. Left, it returned everything on the left data set, and then it returned the corresponding items on the right data set and it placed anything that doesn't match with any N. So it didn't return everything here on this um, data set. It only returned everything here. And it's found um, okay, Ada and Josh matches. And then there's Amy from this left data set, but it doesn't match anything on the right data set. So that's why it puts NAN for it. Now let's repeat this process for right merge. And let's call this right. And let's change this to right. Now it's going to return everything here and place NANs wherever it says no way and dry because no way and dry doesn't match anything on the left data set. So let's go ahead and execute this and let's type in here right. And this is what the result looks like. As you can see, everything from the right data set was returned, but um. The things that doesn't match on the left data set was replaced with NAN. So that's how left merge and right merge works. So what happens if you do not specify um, which column to use? Well, let's find out. And let's do right to. Even when you don't specify what columns um, you, uh, pandas should use, pandas automatically infers that it should use the driver column. Why? Because the driver column is the only column that is common. Well, driver column is common, you know, between OT and LS, between the two data sets. Anyway, that's it for today's video. If you want to learn more about pandas merge, just um, go to evidenceend.com slash pandas merge. 
And then I have a detailed blog post on how to concat, join, merge, data frames and pandas and Python. And you can go through it and read it and um, f learn different ways to do pandas merge. And also, if you want access to this tutorial Python notebook, just go to machinelearningeducation.com slash free data science resources and you have access um, to this. So you can just go to machinelearningeducation.com and once you are there, um, you see different free courses that I have. And if you click on bundle, free data science resources bundle, um, you'll be able to get access to my data science cheat sheet, my job and career resources, and you also have my data science tutorials. So under data science tutorials is where um, I have my different tutorial Python notebook. So any Python, any tutorial Python notebook that you see on this YouTube channel can be found here in data science tutorials. So just go to machinelearningeducation.com slash free data science resources, or just go to machinelearningeducation.com and um, get access to the to this tutorial Python notebook. That's it for today's video. If you like it, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. And I'll talk to you again in the future. Bye.